Alright, this is weird. Hey, this is Tonal Damp. That is not weird. I'm weird because I'm just about the worst person ever you could think of to do a live video. I obviously don't do that a lot. So the guys at Tonewood Amp, Tonewood Amp were kind enough to invite me to do a little workshop here. So this isn't about me playing. It's just a bit too, you know, um, for me to show you a couple tricks and things that I like to do and um, some things that work and I think that some things that I think that the um, acoustic scene in this day and age is missing or could use. So I've got this thing plugged in, obviously. Wonderful little tool. So nice to have. Um, before I kick off, I uh, want to let you know I've got the acoustic guitar boot camp in Austria. Um, in July, we've got a killer lineup with uh, God, there's so many. A few of them are John Gum, Antoine Dufour, Alex Misko, Mike Dawes, Bain, Ben Lacey, and more. Uh, it's a hybrid thing, so those who can and want to can come to the mountain in Austria, and those who can't or don't want to uh, can take part online. So there's a separate so you can be a fly on the wall in the actual camp and there's a separate online portion of it as well so it would be great to see you and whoever uh, signs up for that today uh, wins a tonewood amp which is very neat and generous from the lovely tonewood people so i'd like to get you started so some of you might be bored with this but harmonics right i'm in oh tuning first thing most of you guys a lot of you guys play in standard tuning also known as missionary tuning which is e a d g b e i think and this is d a d g a d dab gad so if you want to follow along you can Let me start you off with something that's called harp harmonics. Um, those are really, my, all of you guys know, you play harmonics, you put the index finger over the note point on the 12th fret. They work on the 7th fret. They also work on the 5th fret. They also work on the 4th fret. And they also work on fret 3.25. So you got... Same one is also here. Where are you? Uh, and here. And there's a whole bunch of. They're all over the place. They're fun. But you need both hands to play them the way I just did. What's really cool, um, Tommy Emmanuel, I think, does it really well in the intro to his Summer Over the Rainbow. He does these beautiful cascading harmonics. And what he does there is a, bit, is a back and forth between a artificial harmonic they're called so they you would hold your right hand index finger over the note point and then pick it with the thumb so this is a bit weird if you've never done this okay but what he does there is really cool he does a, a back and forth between the picked harmonic and then I use my pinky here you can use your ring finger too it doesn't matter and pick an open string. So these are really neat. Obviously in that cat they don't... If this was normal tuning this would... They're pretty cool. And in this tuning you would have to... Uh, pretend you hold down a D. 
for those of you who are D major chord. Um, this is actually in A minor in that gap, but never mind. You pick up the index finger here and you just have these, and then if you do the same thing. song that I did, it's called Asha. thing even working oh Taylor hi very good so uh, uh, there are 21 people watching sorry I'm a bit of a like I don't do social media I don't do live streaming usually the last thing I did was a year ago with you guys which was actually was fun but social media and i are like oil and water i don't i don't do this much the other thing uh harmonics that's kind of cool is you can slide them here's a little trick for me okay you got the harmonic and you can slide it up from nowhere back here here is I took this one from the 7th fret, slid it up, and then hold my right hand finger over the note point and then pull off this left hand thing here. Uh, what else? You can bend them as well. Uh, before I mention that, I should mention that um, Okay, we've got the artificial harmonics here on the 12th fret, right? Now, what happens if I put my finger here on the 2nd fret? The 12th fret is not going to be the middle of the string anymore. You don't get anything. So if you go up 2 here on the left hand, you need to go up 2 on the right hand too. So if you do that, you end up with... You can bend those, but it's kind of neat. I've got that in that piece of mine, Akaskero. This is the wrong tuning button. Ah. So bent uh, artificial harmonics are really cool too. Um, what else have I got? So we got the bent harmonics, we got the slide harmonics, uh, and the harp harmonics. I mean that's getting close to what there is uh, the question is how you put them together I mean nobody wants to sit there and listen to you go on it gets boring really fast so you have to figure out something that's uh, that's interesting so that solo I'm doing and comfortably numb. Uh, I, I basically tried to uh, do what David Gilmore does with that. Mm, ow! The string's too thick. But I did this. I slid that one up. I bent that one up. Oops. Shit. those techniques all in one <laughs> so that's how that's put together um, now this is might sound boring to you guys but you need it uh, I just need to 
click on <laughs> seven acoustic guitars videos and oh, you guys are missing something really basic theory the three chord trick C F G okay any diatonic melody that means any melody that has is part of a scale you can harmonize with three chords or they I call them their little depressed cousins so is either the little depressed cousin of C is A minor um, the little depressed cousin of F D minor G E minor okay so if we take something like take that thing okay. it's just use the three major chords F C G and so on and so forth now every you can substitute any of those major chords with their little with the relative minor as I can call it or you can call them depressed little cousins, that's fine with me too. Uh, so you can go e, A minor, E minor, D minor, E minor, uh, sorry. so on and so forth so but what you could do if you want to be have some fun with this hey mark no i'm not in standard tuning that's what you get for being late uh i'm in dapgat uh, standard tuning is also called missionary tuning if you missed that as well dapgat. so if i substitute every the neat thing with this with twinkle twinkle little star each of those notes is twice, so we can do the major on one note and then the minor on the other. Okay. Uh. So there's all this stuff you can do, and then you can put, put these little friend of mine, uh, Stuart Ryan, wonderful player, he calls them expensive chords. Uh. So there's all this stuff you can do and then you can go extremes with... really smart about jazz and chords you can go all out with this and go really crazy I'm not that um, that smart or fast with this stuff now uh, let me do something fun for you guys um, John gum who's also teaching at the boot camp this year this summer um, he does this really cool he has a really cool version of waiting in vain a really cool cover tone it's in a slightly different tuning but I'm gonna um, I love teaching this and showing this to people because it's just it's a lot of fun you can pick it really fast pick it up really fast so stick with G let's do the overhand thing because we're cool and people like it <laughs> oh the geeks geek hits uh, geek nerds uh, left hand hammer on here though. So that's the rhythm one. Uh, one, two, three, and four, and one, two. Okay. And what he does then is a harmonic slap. Uh, let's kind of aim for the middle two strings here. Middle two strings. 
is basically you just go straight down. Uh, a lot of people use their middle finger. I like to use my index finger for no particular reason. Um, you really just slap straight down and then release. And what he does is it bam, 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 okay? Both together is three and four and left, right, 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 left, and four and four and does it make sense? So left, right, right, right. So this that that the cool thing about that uh, riff from John is that you can you can pretty much play this with other mitts you know you, you don't need I mean if you never played guitar I think you can pick this up four and one three and four and one so you see we've got a kind of a hole guitar players we have to fill everything up with uh, notes and noodling so that's what we're gonna do but in this case it actually makes sense because it's a different texture so you go uh, first thing first rule about acoustic guitar is don't actually beat the guitar hard you don't have to none of this uh, none of this takes much force um, it's quite easy to put cracks in your guitar. They're not structurally, um, it's not really important, important. But um, if there's a little crack, but it's not nice to crack your guitar. So just be nice, especially if you get excited and had a couple of drinks. Uh, don't just rock the fuck out of it. Um, the first one is kind of a bass note here. John actually does this thing down here, but just because we want to stay down here keep everything here for now I'd like to teach it this way so you got the thump here right the thump fingers and then I those of you you who have your guitar um, amp uh, sorry your pickup controls up here you should out of luck you need to find a different place okay <laughs> People are leaving. <laughs> That's me. All right. Does that make sense? So it's kind of what he does. So it's, it's really neat how, like, with one little thing, John does this really stuff uh, what he does then too because there's another little hole he goes in between this one and the two ones that follow he goes he gets his left hand Another thing that is really neat uh, is a fun little technique. This left hand, uh, I do. I don't. I don't have. I mean, I do have fingernails. I just don't have the acrylics on at the moment, so my scratches aren't that cool. Uh, it's this muted uh, tap here that can be really, really cool. A, a cool element. Um, you either mute stuff here, 
or you just use the whole thing. What you don't want is a note. Um, I mean, sometimes you do, it just depends on context. Right? Um, Eric Roach does it as well. That's right. And he does it in a way. You, he uses the percussive effect here, but the harmonic should still be ringing. And it's ringing a little extra nice because of the plate effect. God, I love this thing on plate. Okay, that's part of Eric Roche's percolator. I'm obviously out of guitar shape, but who cares? I'm. Um, Eric Roche Percolator. I use it in Desert Pirate somewhere. Hey, Edu, nice to see you. Hello, Braulio Garcia. So, um, where was I? Did harmonics, the slide harmonics. Oh, let me show you something useless too. You can slide the harmonics up. I haven't found a musical application for this yet, but you can slide up the harmonics from the. I've got a fifth fret harmonic here. And you can really slide that up. You hear that? It goes down too. Not that well. So these are my useless tricks. Yeah, I'll see. No, not so much here. Uh, if you find any musical application for this, let me know. I haven't yet. <coughs> the other thing, um, you need a bottleneck for this. Now, and that, this sounds really cool, but it you're completely um, Occupied with both hands, so I haven't really found a, a good use for this yet But what you end up doing is you put a bottleneck over the bridge And just wiggle it back and forth a little bit You need something with um, with a bit of mass. It doesn't sound good with something that's not as It works you get that little wow wow effect, but check this out uh, you hear that wah wah? So it's really neat, this cool, this cool little thing. Again, hey Vladimir, nice to hear from you. Um, so yeah, that's my useless tricks. This one. Wow, wow. Uh, come here. Uh, slide. Those of you, uh, while we're at it, I've got the slide out. Those of you who play slide, make sure you mute the left side of the string. Um, most of the time. Sometimes it's nice to have both sides of the string, but there's a big string difference between got that left that just sounds shit. If you mute it on the left here, it just sounds much nicer than it takes a lot of that. Takes a lot of that. It just sounds much nicer if you've got a muted on the left. Is the tone with plus and slide making the baba? Actually, you know, I, I'm supposed to be selling you uh, tone with amp stuff, right? But for this one, the baba. No, uh, tone with does have a baba, but uh, let me see. I haven't quite. I like fucking around with the. With they've got a Leslie. <laughs> Come on. Um, 
Do you have an auto one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, your daughter, your granddaughter broke her guitar. Um, send me a private message. Maybe I can hook you up with one. Um, so no, uh, you don't necessarily. I think I need to turn the volume up on this for something for the wah to come out more. But I pretty much just stay with plates on this one, to be honest. <laughs> Um, but this wow wow. Oh, there's another uh, while we're at it. There's a little effect that I like to use. Uh, I know that I think Eric Mongrain uses it quite a bit. Antoine, a lot of us uh, acoustic players use this one. Um, and all it is is you put the surface of your, you don't actually have much pressure on it. You, in some guitars, it's here. You just interfere with the vibration of the top. So, so, do this a little. So sometimes you got. It's a little. Um, it's a little more pronounced because I've got the tonal ramp on it, right? But it also will work if you don't have a tonal ramp. Um, what else? Before I leave that gap, let me show my favorite dark gap chords here first. Uh, that's the second fret on the first string, third fret on the second string, third string is open, and the fourth one on the fourth fret, sorry, on the fourth string we on fret three. I love this chord. So from the top is two, three, zero, three, zero, zero. Love that guy. part of Eric Roche's Deep Deep Down. How do you contact me? Um, can you send me a Facebook here? Or my email is thomas at thomasleap.com. So it's just my name, first name, at first name and last name dot com. Um, by the way, I'm playing duet between guitar and squeaky chair here. I put on some weight during this pandemic, like everybody else. <laughs> Okay, um, Eric's thing, what's really cool, uh, there's, this one's a kind of one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, bass, he always pushes the bass, so, push one, one, two, three, four, one, two, uh, Mark says he uses that four impression conjunction with neck hold to make for whammy band. Yeah, yeah, there, there's a bit of that. I think um, if you check out my the album Riddle that I recorded in 1999, what was it, an upside down at the end of the hard can, I think I, I do this. Um, uh, Loudon, Loudon guitars have a five piece neck. I'm not sure if you can see, yeah, you can see the strips. There's a five piece neck. So this is one of the strongest necks in the industry. Um, <laughs> But I, I, I don't know, um, I don't feel, I don't like it. I used to be more of a, um, 
rebel with that, but I'm, I'm, I'm a bit too careful. So, what was I going to say? Oh, it's a really cool groove. Or you could go. Let's change the tuning. Cool little bits and pieces. Suggest to all of you, like if you go on a different tuning, what I like to do is I like to just see what the harmonics, what the harmonics can do, can give to me. Just really, just sit there and play around. I know. So this one. So, so you got a melody right there, right? Let me see if it what da, 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 da. Sorry. Or you could go like if we just kind of look for a little melody, we go um something that always works is do it three times and then the third time do it a little differently. I'm missing my fingernails. Okay, first time. Two, three, four. Okay, so say that's our melody, right? So we go. Uh, let's do it. Basically, this is the top one percent, but the downtrodden masses. Uh, let's just give that a melody. So we do that three times. Three times. And then the fourth time we go, okay, that's our phrase that we're looking at now. How do we harmonize that? I don't know. Let's make something up. Um. Tapping in the dark and stepping in shit. So, so play around with play around with the chords. Just be creative, you know. Um, uh, I would personally like to hear a little bit more innovation in the acoustic guitar scene and less. It's not so much about technique, just write your own songs. Don't sound like I do, don't sound like Andy, don't sound like Tommy. Sound like yourself. I would like to hear a bit more of that. Um, I think that's all I've got for you guys today. so much just play around with harmonics uh, uh, it's part of a song of mine that I forgot as a goodbye, let me just play my old, that old tune. No, this is actually workshop. Go look at some videos. There's a bunch of people playing my tunes, or I'm me playing my tunes. Uh, let me...
let you go one more time with um, check out acousticbootcamp.com and um, we got a really amazing lineup uh, if you are in America and want to do something in person there's um, Andy McKee has his musicarium come up in it's around the same time and it's in July as well and um, got a cool lineup as well four days mine's got an online portion so if you want to be a fly on the wall um, you can also check in on that so this is a hybrid program thank you for the five of you who showed up and it was a pleasure uh, sorry I am awkward uh, there's a reason why I don't do these often but thanks for uh, stopping by Thank you, Helena and Ofer and everybody at Tonewood Am. They're wonderful people. And I hope to see you all in person soon. So live from the California Institute of the Arts in California, I'm signing the fuck off because I'm useless at this shit. Bye. <laughs>